Refurbing a smoker's PC into a sick gaming PC. I'm gonna refurb this super smoky case that I got as a trade-in. Uh, it was a smoker's PC. You can see here it's got a lot of uh, tar and dust buildup. So I'm gonna remove the power supply, refurb it separately. I'm gonna just recycle all the case fans and I'm gonna deep clean this in the janitor sink. Okay, here it is all gutted out. I removed all the fans and electronics. Uh, I'm gonna go wash these in the sink. I know it looks bad, but you'll be surprised at how nice this case will look after a good deep cleaning and a new fan kit. These old fans, I'm just gonna recycle them right now. Okay, it's a lot better now. I just wiped down most of the moisture and I'm gonna let it dry out in front of this fan. Once it's all dry, I'll just give it a nice rub with the uh, isopropyl alcohol and glass cleaner to really uh, give it that nice shine. Nice and clean, now it's time to reassemble it. All right, she's all cleaned up. It's time to build in this thing. So here's the plan. It came with quite a nice motherboard, an i7 9th gen. I'm gonna use this for a more premium build and I'm gonna use that case we restored for a more budget end build. We're gonna use this. This is an old i5 that I have, an old i5 motherboard. It's DDR3, it's fourth gen. This will pair great for a really budget end PC that belongs in that case. And then we'll use the nice internals that came in the older case with a nice new case to make two separate builds out of them. Here in storage, I have tons of these old RX 570s. These are gonna be perfect for this build. I'll use one of these. I also have this big bin of random assorted case fans. So we're gonna find a couple of fans here. These are basically free of charge because they're just hanging around and I'll repurpose them in the new case. All right, so out of my fun bin of fans, I have three RGB fans and a controller which we can cook up to the uh, reset button on the case. So this will really spruce it up. Okay, here's all the innards that we will put in the refurbished case. The original power supply that I've cleaned up, 650 watt, 80 plus bronze, three assorted RGB fans I had hanging around, a black Intel cooler to make it look sick, uh, the i5-4670, uh, 16 gigabytes of TimeTech DDR3 RAM, that's brand new, uh, and the used RX 570 that I had for my bin. We'll also use the original Samsung Evo SSD, it's a half terabyte, this came with the PC. There, isn't it beautiful? Let's get it plugged in. And here it is, my friends, it booted. Let's get Windows on this baby. Here we are downloading 3D Mark to stress test it, and the PC is complete. You can change the RGB using the reset button here. So who would buy a budget PC like this anyways? Well, lots of people. So you can play basically any game besides the latest, latest demanding ones like Starfield and such, but literally 98% of games you can play on this if you're willing to tinker with the graphics settings. Games like Skyrim, League of Legends, uh, classics like Bioshock, Half-Life, these are still fun games and this thing will run it no problem at all. Not only that, you can use it for home use. It has an SSD, so you could have snappy access to YouTube, research for your homework or for school, for your work, whatever it is, if you're on a budget. And it plays Blu-rays. Check that out. <clears throat> Beautiful. Thanks for watching.